morning, y'all. How you doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, I decided to do a little bit of diamond painting this morning and decided I would just bring you guys along with me. I'm working on the number two, and uh, that's like a, a lavender, purplish color, pinkish color. And uh, I'm just doing a small section because... I don't want to keep you guys on as long as I did the other day. So, good morning. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, not complaining. Hayden's going to come over in a little while and spend the day with us and spend the night. So, she'll have my phone for a while. But, in the meantime, thought I'd hop on here. First off, I got a couple of things I want to talk about, so I'm going to get right into it, and, and we're going to have a little chit-chat. First of all, welcome to my channel. My name's Jackie. I'm glad you're joining me, if it's your first time. Uh, this is Diamond Painting is new to me. I've only been doing it since um, just before Thanksgiving, and I've only done... Four, four paintings. This is my fifth one. This painting was gifted to me by my daughter. Her and I uh, trade paintings once a month. She'll send me a painting and I'll send her one. She doesn't know what I'm sending and I don't know what she's sending. So it's kind of like we get a surprise painting to do. And uh, unfortunately, the first one I sent her, she couldn't read the symbols. So, I had to send her another one uh, to do, which I think she likes. And hopefully, she'll send me a picture of it when she gets finished, and I can, I can post it. Now, second, uh, by the time you see this, you should have seen my update on my, my uh, challenge. And I wanted to... to apologize for so much umming in my videos here lately i am um this and um that i apologize i can't help it for some reason all of a sudden that's all i seem to do it's i think it's i i can't think of what i'm wanting to say so i i um <laughs> i don't know any any other words for it and uh, I'm only going to apologize this time. I hope it doesn't run you off of my channel. Uh, just be kind. Uh, don't bash me. Because you can uh, click and go to another channel if, if, if it irritates you. And I know there are some things that irritate me. So you're not going to hurt my feelings. Jesus keep you safe. And I love you anyway. But anyway, now, let's move on to some fun topics. So what's everybody been up to? I haven't been doing a lot other than a little bit of diamond painting. Uh, I, uh, see? Last night, I, I was doing uh, the section over here. I was doing a pretty good size section. <laughs> And I had to laugh at myself because I caught myself putting my numbers, uh, diamonds, on the wrong number again. I am horrible about putting the wrong colors in the wrong spots if I don't pay attention. So, I had to go back and remove a large amount right in here and redo it. It, it was kind of funny because I think it took me, I, I think I worked on it for a good hour and a half to two hours because I wanted to get the diamonds up. Now, if anybody knows, the problem I have when I do that, I don't mind doing it. I mean, I mind, but, you know, it's something I have to do. The problem I have after I do it is my tray gets really sticky and uh, so does you know, the diamonds are sticky because they were on uh, glue. And so, 
If anybody has any idea how I can remove the stickiness from my my diamonds without damaging them, damaging them, I would appreciate knowing it. So if you could leave me a comment, it would help. I got this little tray. My daughter Stacy's supposed to send me a bigger one. I'll be glad when she does. I keep shaking <laughs> my diamonds all over the place if I'm not careful. And see, I don't know why, but all of a sudden my diamonds want to just stick together. I haven't had that problem up until uh, last night and today. I don't know if it's the weather causing more static or, or what, but I wish it would quit. I hung my first painting on the wall. At the end of this video, if I think of it, I'll uh, insert a picture of it. Uh, I might forget. I'm very forgetful. If I say sometimes that that I will insert something, y'all have to let me know what I forgot, and I'll make sure I do it somewhere. Maybe on the next video, I'll make a note. Uh, I just, I, 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 I try to do my best. Uh, to make the best videos I can for you guys. And I, I am not a professional. I don't, you know, I I didn't even know how to edit a video until my granddaughter showed me. And I use Kind Master, which is a, a very easy app to use. It's so, I and I do very, very limited editing. Editing. To be honest, like I told my daughter, most of what I edit is sometimes I will have a really bad coughing spell while I'm uh, diamond painting. And that is what I edit out. And when my asthma is really bad, then I edit a little bit more uh, than I normally do. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. My granddaughter called and said she's changed her mind. She's not coming today. Today is the, the 18th, and she's not coming until the 20th. <laughs> if y'all watch my channel, y'all know my granddaughter has autism. And when she says that she wants to do something on a certain day, she's going to do it on a certain day. She's not going to change her mind. I did tell her if she changed her mind, let me know. Um, so, we'll see. Uh, she's not as little as she used to be. She's 13. She turned 13 last week. Uh, and uh, so, it's not so easy for mom to bribe her to come now. Used to, uh, her mom, my daughter Angie... She could bribe her into coming over and spending the night by promising her a new toy or something. And our, I could tell her, well, come on and we'll pick you up a, a toy. And we could get her to come over that way anytime. But she kind of outgrowed that now. She's, she's her own. She makes her decision. She don't want to come to Grandma's. She don't want to come to Grandma's. But now... Let me, let me explain the reasoning behind that so y'all don't think that there's anything bad. Uh, my granddaughter's not selfish or anything like that. The problem is, Grandma and Grandpa does not have fast internet. We have what is supposed to be, and I did say supposed to be, high-speed internet. And high-speed internet here is just a little bit above the um, cable internet. Because, you know, the when you used to have to, well, dial-up. There you go. It's, it's just a little above the dial-up internet. They, they keep raising our, our prices, but they don't give us any faster speed. And unfortunately... We live out in the country, and they don't have the cables and things ran out here like they do in town. <laughs> My granddaughter told us we needed to move to town by her, you know, and, and the whole thing 
Well, she wanted us to come live by her so we would have high-speed internet, and then she would come over a lot more. But Now, she may call back and change her mind. I told her, I told her, if, you know, if she changed her mind, call me. So, I'm not going to hold my breath, but there is always that chance that she will decide to come. You know, it's, it is what it is. I like for her to come because it gives, it gives our daughter a break because Hayden is very demanding. Uh, there's a lot of things that she does on her own and there's a lot of things that she won't do on her own. And that is partly because she is spoiled. Yep, she's spoiled. And it's our fault. My daughter's, mine, my husband's, we, we all have spoiled her. And it's just the way it is. Anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about before that phone call. So... I'm just going to continue this. Uh, this I'm finding is the most common thing. Relaxing, I guess, is uh, easier for me to say because what certain words that I say does not sound, <laughs> doesn't pronounce correctly. Uh, but this is really relaxing and I, I think that my daughter, bless her heart, I'm glad she got into this because Stacy needs something to help her relax. That way, uh, when, when she's having a stressful day, she can go in her little craft room and close the door and do her diamond painting. Uh, a lot took place last year. Stacy, uh, in the last year, she uh, she was blessed with a, a liver transplant, and we're very grateful to the people who 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 donated, and very sad for their loss. Anyway, she she had a liver transplant. She got a new house. The house she lived in was before her new house was extremely small. There was not enough room for her to have her crafts. What little bit of craft she had was crocheting, and that girl can crochet some beautiful afghans. And maybe one of these days, I will do a video just a flip through for her afghans, because I have pictures of them. And uh, she crochets some sweaters, uh, she hasn't been able to do any sweaters lately. I'm hoping that she'll start doing them again, her hands. Kind of shake. She Her medications give her shakes. So when she's having good days and can get in and, and diamond paint. And it seems like diamond paint painting, concentrating on it, helps her hands not shake so much. That might sound weird, but... It's true. And uh, anyway, she she moved into her new home, and it was a three-bedroom, so they only have Kathy, uh, their their daughter. Uh, their uh, my my daughter's boys, a couple of her boys from a first marriage previous marriage, they they still come and uh, spend time with her, and that makes it easier, too, because she has more room for them all to have uh, and enjoy. Anyway, she's got a craft room that she was able to get into, and now she's talking about starting her YouTube channel, and I hope it's soon. I am, I, I'm looking forward to watching her diamond paint and uh, do her channel. I think that will be good for her. It'll give her something to do and she can meet new friends because living down in Florida, 
She, my son lives down there too, but he works all the time and so does his family and they live a distance apart. So they don't really get to visit that much when, uh, when my son isn't working, him and his wife, they like to go do their own thing. You know, they want to go out and drive and, and then my husband, my, my, I started to say my husband, my son he he has his own business that he's running now also besides the work that he's doing as a, a lawn man uh manager and uh so he, he sometimes when he's not working with the lawn manager managing uh he's he works his own business so he doesn't have a lot of time so if she starts her videos, maybe she can meet some new friends and like I have. I, you guys have been a blessing to me. Y'all helped me so much when I lost my mom and when Stacy was going through everything that she has been going through. And she still has her days that she, you know, she has some stuff that isn't good, but uh, with the prayers that you guys are constantly saying for her and me. It's it's a blessing. I thank you. I praise you. I thank God for you. Uh, well, I don't praise you, but I praise God for you. Uh, it's, you know, my family. I have an awesome family, you guys. I, that's the only way to put it. I have an awesome family. My son... And his wife, they they opened their home and their daughters, uh, their daughter that lives at home, they opened their home to us and we were able to keep our camper there. And when we couldn't have our camper uh, with us, our granddaughter would give up her room so that her grandpa and I would have the privacy of a room. And it just, they just made us feel totally and completely at home. And, you know, like I said, I have an awesome family. I thank God for them. I do. I'm not bragging on them. I'm just stating a fact, you know. My daughter-in-law, bless her heart. Every time she went shopping while I, while we were there, she would go, she would buy popcorn. She'd buy two bags and usually one for me. And if Stacy was able to, to have popcorn, she'd buy one for Stacy too. And, uh, she, she always made sure I had popcorn. I miss that popcorn. I don't go to Aldi's that much, so I don't go and buy it. But I may have to make a trip to Aldi's now that I'm talking about the popcorn. I'm probably going to start craving it. <laughs> so, anyway, I just want y'all to know I appreciate every one of you. And, you know. So... Who's working on something new? I I am working <clears throat> excuse me y'all I am working on the diamond painting and I'm working on my craft room. Uh I am I'm trying to decide <clears throat> excuse me what I want to do with about my stickers. I watched a show yesterday, a YouTube video, of a woman that made a uh, little pocket, made some pockets out of uh, the cutting cutting mats, <clears throat> you know, the plastic cutting mats you can get from uh, Dollar Tree that come two in a pack, they're, they're kind of clear. <laughs> I was watching her make pouches and 
I decided to give it a try and see if I could make one. Well, I made one. Now, I didn't have the, the little, uh, uh, what do you call the, the little things that you stick in and you hammer down, whatever they're called, to hold it together. If I could think of what it is, I would tell you guys. Maybe I'll come up, <laughs> come up with it by the time I upload. But anyway, uh, I didn't have any of those, so I decided to use my little staple gun, which worked just fine perfect not any problem at all looks like it'll hold it together just fine problem I had when I went to fold the top down uh, it broke let me go get it it won't take me but a second y'all I want you to see I want y'all to see because maybe I did something wrong and y'all can help me know what I'm doing. See, this is the pouch. I fold it in half. This white stuff that's on here, I tried the glue uh, that is supposed to be for plastic. Well, it didn't work. It's, and I couldn't get it off, so I, it's not bothering me. But you see, when I started to fold the flap down, it cracked. And I don't know why, because I did it gentle. I don't know if I pressed too hard when I was making my seam or what I did wrong. But I, I think I'll, pro I'll probably put a little duct tape on that, something decorative all the way across, because I'm not going to throw it away. I mean, it makes, it makes a really nice pouch, y'all. Really nice. And when I figure it out... I think these will be really nice to uh, put my stickers in because I can do them the, the long way also. So anyway, it's a work in progress. I'll let you know how it turns out. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Let me get a sup coffee, y'all get in a dry throat. I, it's, it's really dry here. Let's see. Let's see. Now, I don't know where I am on this video. I don't want it to get too long. Um, let's see. Okay, I'll go, I'll go just a little longer. And then I'm going to sign off and say goodbye until my next time. Because I don't want to bore y'all to death. These glue dots have been working great. I cannot say enough about them. I did change out my glue dot, I think, on Saturday. It was either Saturday or Sunday. And I'm still going with it. So they last about three or four days. When they stop getting sticky, then I change them. And I still, I'm willing to do a video and have music behind it if y'all don't want to listen to my chattering. But I am a talker. Anybody that's met me knows that. You wouldn't think so. I can be shy about some things. Once I get to know you, though, I'll talk. I'll talk your head off.
I think I'm getting into some of the water in this here, so I'm excited about that. I know it's going to be beautiful. We'll do one more color, and then I'll say bye till the next time. So let's do, let's do number K. That is, the letter K is number 17. Maybe I'll give away, after this challenge is over, maybe I'll give away a diamond painting. How would y'all like that? Let me, give me some feedback. Would y'all like to have a, a diamond painting to to try if you've never done it, it, it it's very relaxing so leave a comment and when I get ready uh, like I said it won't I won't even post it until after my challenge but uh, depends on the feedback that I get well you guys my uh, <laughs> my phone cut off so I don't know what you guys saw and what you didn't. I think the last thing I talked about was uh, giving away a, pa a diamond painting. So uh, I thought I'd hop on here real quick and uh, to say if you guys think you would be interested in getting a diamond painting as a giveaway, let me know. I will not be doing it until after my challenge. Uh, I need to know if you're a beginner or if you know how to do diamond painting, uh, because that will depend on what I get. Uh, if you're new to diamond painting and you haven't tried it before, like a beginner, you're not gonna want a real big one because that, you know, you want something small to learn. I mean, it won't be tiny, but it will, you know, kind of on the smaller side. Uh, just let me know. It might be fun to do a, a giveaway for a, a diamond painting, but you gotta leave a comment and let me know you're interested in that kind of giveaway. All right, uh, if you look over to my left, over my left shoulder, uh, it, unless I flip the camera, if I flip, if I have to flip the video, it's gonna be on the right, so either way. Uh, on the wall, that's my first diamond painting right there. Uh, I found a frame for it and I hung it up. So, uh, I think it looks pretty good. I've still got to learn uh, how to trim around them to get them to fit into the frame. Or I need to get some cloth tape to make a border around it, which is what I may do. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. All right, I'm not going to stay on here. I don't know why my camera shut off. Uh, I finished the, the one uh, color I was doing. Just yakking my head off at y'all. And when I said my buys, <laughs> looked up, the camera wasn't even on. So I don't know what all I said. But I was talking. I was having some fun. And anyway, I do know I said, don't forget to smile at whoever you come in contact today. Because sometimes a smile will make somebody feel a lot better. I know I'm having a bad day and someone smiles at me. It makes me feel good. So... Don't forget to smile at those you come in contact with. And God bless each one of you. Jesus keep you. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you subscribe and hang around. Share my channel. Help my channel grow. When it gets big enough, maybe we can do a live. Um, and we can whip and chat on live. <laughs> Some way or another. A new adventure. Uh, God bless each one of you. Say a prayer for me, and don't forget to smile. Bye, y'all. Have a great day.